Hi everyone, this is Fred, or Mr. Fred from GetMeCoding.com, and we're going to continue on going over some of these really, really important fundamental pieces. In this particular video, we're going to hit on how do you begin to change some backgrounds using some of the other features that become important when you're ever going to build a story, that's an animation, or maybe even a video game. So as you can see, I'm starting off with a blank slate here, and over here in the lower left-hand corner, I only have one backdrop. So this is where we begin to make sure when, we're, when, we, when we think about our idea, maybe we have a storyboard that's guiding us along, or maybe we're just free thinking it off the top of our head, but a storyboard that's usually a better way to begin. Now I'm going to load it. I'm going to see there's a backdrop here. How do I begin to add it? You can come directly right in here, or you can also note that there is a tab up here called backdrops. When you click on backdrops, you will see that it'll toggle over. And we get into this area right here now. You can come into this editor. This is that same editor that we saw before with the costume editor. So what we can do is you could see that this is backdrop one. It's always a good idea to name everything you're always working with. A lot of times when you're working with anything in programming or coding, you're going to refer to it by its name. Sometimes it's known as a variable, and that means you can give it different names, but ultimately a different value. But in this case here, I'm going to call this intro. And that's going to be the name of this particular background. Notice that it changes here. And this 480 times 360, well, that's actually 480 by 360. That's the number of pixels. Pixels are the smallest, tiniest element that make up your display. So that's a pretty standard size, and that we'll leave all that alone for now. Now, when you come down in here, we could actually notice that there's some tools over here, and I have a text editor, and I can come in here, and I could say um, the great adventure notice that it's just like a text editor and a lot of the tools that you may already use maybe something like word or so on but a lot of people get frustrated with this and I want to show you something right off the bat you can't click on it but you can highlight it and go down to the color picker and you can pick on a new color so you could change that right off the bat but what if it's not in the right position notice that it's a little bit up here to the left well if you click off of it you'll notice that it starts to have the handles appear around it which allow you to move it. So that's something important to know. But notice that it's also not appearing here yet. If you actually do click somewhere else on your screen, eventually it'll come over there and we'll see it appear. So there it is. You click off of it and boom, that's your intro background. Well, let's also have another background where our main action might take place. To do that, you could actually select paint a new backdrop. And there it is. It says backdrop one. We're going to rename that and we're going to call that the middle. Now you could call it whatever you want. You could have as many backgrounds as you want. Matter of fact, I encourage you to create as many as you can to make the story more engaging or the game more engaging. So this might be the middle. And just for example purposes, I'll say the adventure begins here, right? So we have this click off of it. Now I can actually drag it, place it, you know, somewhere where it's better suited for us. Now, just for the sake of this example, this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and create another backdrop and I'll keep this one also plain. And I'm going to create some text and this will be the, the background that simply says the end. So if you're doing an animation, remember now, if it's an animation, um, every great story has a beginning, a middle and an end. Okay. So that goes back way back in history. And I'm sure your teachers or whomever may, may have told you that I believe it goes back to the Greeks, but in any case, we have that going on there and we're going to put that right like that. Okay, so now we have an intro backdrop, we have the middle backdrop, and then we have the uh, end backdrop. That's all set. So you build all of your assets first, which a backdrop could be an asset. And now let's go over here to the scripts. First of all, you'll see that it started off on the end script. Well, let's begin to, or the, the end backdrop. Let's go ahead now and begin to build this out. We're going to start off by doing an event when clicked, of course. And when we click it to start the event, the animation or the game, let's change the looks. So you'll notice that there's ways you can control the backdrop right here. Drag that out, snap it in, bam. Now, notice that um, we have uh, some naming here. But if you click this drop down, there it is. There's the intro. Click that. Now, what if you want something else to happen? Well, maybe you have some intro music. If you can come in here, one way to do that, you could do a play a sound. Now, if I want to change that to a, a soundtrack, well, I can 
I need to pull that in here. So now right, in, right now it's pop. If you follow the tutorial on sounds, you know how you could add sounds here. So I'm gonna do it kind of quickly. I'm gonna to go to my sound tab. I'm gonna click on a sound in here and one that's a lot of fun. You can go into what are known as music loops. These are longer uh, thematic musical um, tunes, I guess. And you click on that loop. I'm gonna click on the cave. I can check. <laughs> Sounds pretty ominous. I like it. Select the uh, entire loop and click OK. So now there it is. It's known as the cave. So if I go now back to my scripts tab, if I click on my drop down, there it is, the cave. So we're going to come in. We're going to have the intro slide playing the music. And then when, when that's complete, what we'll then do is switch, going back to looks, switch to the next backdrop. And that will be backdrop the middle. Now, let's take a look at it, see how it runs. Interesting, right? So, it looks like it's out of sync. It looks like something's not, a, not a, being played in the right sequence. So, let's take a look at our backdrops. So, here is the intro backdrop. A little bit of a delay there right today. And we have the middle and the other backdrop. So let's come back in here again and we will take a look at when the item is clicked, switch to the back, switch the backdrop to the intro and let's try it. 